today we thought we'd take our lambs for a walk with uh, six sheep in the yard. It's kind of small and the grass has been getting short, so we thought we'd stake them out along the roadside where the grass is greener. And it's such a lovely day for winter time. It's probably in the 50s and it's sunny, which is unusual here for the winter, so we thought we'd go for a walk and take our lambs with us. There we're going up the road towards the main road. Unfortunately our lambs are not very well trained to the leash yet. Here is our view from the top of the hill. There's Volcano Sorno. I long for the good There's old days we lived in the subdivision. <laughs> it's terrible. The little one next to it to the left is La Picada. The one between the two trees there is Puntiagudo. And the ones off there in the distance is uh, Casablanca and Antillanca. And over there on the other side of that hill would be Kabuko, which is too short to see through the trees. Here come the lambs. This is the neighbor's pasture with a, a little apple orchard in it that we picked apples in this summer. Those are brambles, blackberry patches, which we also picked off of this summer. And then over here is another pasture with some cows in it, and these are cherry trees. Thomas, push him along. We're coming. My little shepherd boy. You should have brought your shepherd stick. Staff, so you could push him along. This is the entrance to our neighborhood at the gate there. And here is a little creek that runs through here. In the summer it's all dried up, but in the winter time we've been getting a lot of rain and now it's flowing down this drive here into this pasture, into this willow tree. A few weeks ago we had so much rain that the road was washed out and the creek overflowed into the pasture. You can see all the rocks it carried through there.
there's a lot of damage to the road in the neighborhood and the power went out and the water pipe burst from the road being washed away. That's where the creek comes from under those trees there and underneath the road when it's not flooding.